G'day everyone, welcome back. Uh, all right, so this week is part two of getting Kiara, my 34 foot cruiser from Lake Macquarie to Nelson Bay. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, I will definitely leave a link and check it out. Uh, didn't go according to plan at all, <laughs> but that's all right. So anyway, yeah, th this episode picks up exactly where the other one left off and uh, you'll get to find out what actually broke in the engine and what we did and you get to find out where the boat is now so uh if you haven't already i would certainly ask that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button um it's free and really helps me out um helps the channel out makes me sort of be able to put content together and, and keep it going for you guys so all right that's enough of me chatting and uh let's pick it up where we left off all right well rock covers off we've got a broken valve spring. So I'll pull this valve uh, rocker off. And I guess the hope is that the valve itself hasn't gone, hasn't actually broken and gone down into the uh, down into the cylinder. You can't hear any banging and clanging when you turn it over. So, we'll see. This might not be quite as bad as I was expecting, or it could still be. Ha. Got a valve on it, it's not completely busted. What makes me think valve spring we get done to take it off? That's exactly what it means. <laughs> Sweet. Right up. We're a bit lucky, aren't we, Dad? Oh, <laughs> my lottery ticket. Yeah. So, broken valve spring. Um, and we don't. Oh, and, and the and, and the little spring top there. cover for it. Um, the collets were still on. The retainer was still on. The spring was broken, and the valve was hanging down. So we lost compression on that cylinder. But it didn't hang down far enough for the piston to contact it and damage the valve. So. We need a valve spring. Um, we check compression, we've hold it up, yep. we can manually put the pressure in it. So yep. we've it's got fine. skin so, of our teeth. And it gets better. I have GM valve springs at home. So we're going for a drive and I'm gonna put a valve spring in it. Uh, um, no damage. No. So if you missed that, we're using compressed air to hold the valve up against its seat. So filling the cylinder with compressed air to hold it up so we can get the collets on. Gonna go through, set all the valve clearances now, um, and then we'll do a compression test. And if we've got the same compression on every cylinder, then it's back out, it's back out of the heads we go and we'll keep going. All right, <clears throat> just put it all back together. They're hydraulic lifters, um, so run them down till they make contact, and then about a quarter of a turn, more than enough preload. This was the dead cylinder, so let's see what she's got. Right up. I'm gonna say that's gonna run. Okay. Right up. We are back underway again, leaving Newcastle. Poor visibility or the thing, but anyway. Wind conditions haven't changed. So we're gonna keep going. Um, motor sounds really happy. We left it on the dock running for probably 10 minutes at uh, like over 3000 RPM and it, it sounds happy. Um, I mean, you know, 
We've got to make the run sometime, so let's do it now. We're going to keep pushing north to Port Stephens. Weather conditions are good. Um, the engine's running good. If you don't know why I'm concerned about the engine, I'll leave a link to the last video. Didn't go as planned, and you know, you plan as much as you can, but it's just some things you can't plan. All right, I'll pick it up when we're out of the heads and sort of steaming up a bit. Over there is Yakubar Headland. That's the ocean. And then we'll come around here. I don't know. I sort of don't really want to hang out the back of the boat. But that is Tomaree Headland. And we are entering Port Stephens. And I tell you what, it's been a bloody long day. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, so we've been awake and basically taking the journey for 15 hours. So that doesn't, that includes the time spent at Newcastle. But it's all part of the journey. And this is pretty calm, really. Oop, watch this break. Uh, it's, yeah. So we're not we're not quite on the bar yet. And yeah. So we've got a run out tide coming out and a westerly. So it's uh, it's gonna blow. Oh, hang on, let me put the microphone back. Shorty camera work. Come on, there we go. So we timed it for a run out tide. Hold on, hold on. We timed it for a run-out tide, and then we've also got a westerly pushing to the ocean as well. Um, and 
that's helping to keep everything down. So, I mean, there's still a bit going on. But, uh, yeah, get it the other way, you'll know about it. The plan is that we're going to sneak around the left hand side of Pomeroo into Shoal Bay and uh, just check the old girl over, give it a bit of a rest, might even have a cold beer <laughs> and uh, then we'll do another hour and a half to get it down where the mooring is. So, so at the moment, the current stint, there's our man, the current stint we've been going for just shy of four hours. Home. It's 17 hour day. 17 hours from pick up to pick down. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. How do you think it went? <laughs> we got here. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm spent. So, <sighs> that was earned. <laughs> so, recap. <coughs> We're here. We were both on the boat yesterday morning. Morning, yeah, Saturday morning at about 10? 11, yeah. 11. Mm, 10, 11 morning. Either way. We fired up, did some stuff, cruised down. We got. Burn out the radio. Burn out the radio <laughs> at Coal Point, which is like 20 minutes away yeah, from I'm my original it, yeah. mooring location. <laughs> did that. Exact sort same, exact it. same spot as the fan belt. It's it was exactly the same spot as it's the fan belt. About <laughs> but, <point>. Yeah, <laughs> never have to go back there again. No. So, then we went out, Swansea Channel, sorted that out. Uh, Uncle brought me a brand new radiator. 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 <laughs> Radio. <laughs> Long day. So, thank you very much, Uncle Nev. And then we got up at four a.m. this morning. Fired up. Motored out of Swansea Heads. We got two hours, five o'clock out of the out of the end of the channel. Yeah. So on the ocean at five o'clock. Yeah. Off we went. Yep. And two hours up the road, <laughs> we broke a valve spring. Who the bloody hell breaks a valve spring? We do. We do. <laughs> so you know the story from there. Marine rescue come and got us. Massive Big thank shatter. you. Yeah. yeah um, massive shit. Without them, well, without them, we'd be stuffed. Still sitting there. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But yeah, they helped us every step of the way. Yeah. I mean, you know, we did everything we were supposed to do. We logged on. We were doing hourly logons and everything. So yeah. all the safety gear, everything else. Yep. And they logged all that, by the way. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, they made sure we had it all on board, not to come down on us, but mm. like just tick all the boxes, and yep. everybody's happy. And they, they did all their handovers, so we went through Marine Rescue of Swansea, Marine Rescue at Newcastle. And then Marine Rescue again at Port Stevens. So, and, but every time they knew who we were, they knew what we were doing. The handover was really good. Yeah, it's good. So they towed us in. We found the valve spring. <laughs> back to the workshop. Back to the workshop. Yeah, Rip one off the cylinder head that I had. Back out, and we went. We got motor in. That was about two o'clock. Oh, Something like that. Look at the timeline. <laughs> yeah. We got about halfway along Stockton Beach. And I start hearing a noise again. Mm. It's, it sounded. You got to tell them that. Oh yeah, yeah it no. sounded very <laughs> ominously like a valve spring, a valve rattle. Anyway, anchor back out, pull up, and it's howling a Wesley bottle. Oh way. yeah, like the Caesar up. Yeah. yeah. Someone, not me. <laughs> Must have been. Didn't me. tighten the bolts up all the way on the freaking on the water pump water pulley. Pump pulley. <laughs> so I was, you know, oh, we were both like, crap. What do we do now? And then I dump, jumped down in there, and yeah, and look, water yeah. pump pulley. Oopie days. Fix that. Sorry. <laughs> and then for the last, what are we up to? Four, five hours. Something, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Five hours. Mm. This little donk has sat on 3,000 RPM. Or greater actually because it kept cavitating and carrying yeah, on. Yeah, so stores, yeah. big swell out um, coming out off Stocko. Um, mm. Yeah. What? Probably two metre. Oh yeah, but it was a following sea on the on, yeah. the, on oh, the yeah. port quarter. So he kept pushing us down the waves. Skate sideways, didn't want to respond. That little dong, three thousand RPM plus, All and right. it just sat there, did not yeah. skip a beat. No. So anyway, in through the heads like you saw, and we're now on a mooring. 
from here, repairs, but yeah. not tonight. <laughs> yeah, not tonight. <laughs> no, so it's now nine o'clock at night. Sausages, rissoles. Yep. Yep. Maybe an ale. Ma- maybe yeah, something. Definitely an ale. Yeah, definitely. Uh, with rehydrate. Yeah. 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 So. All right. Well, that was a big one, uh, and like I said, it'll be. Uh, Jeez, <laughs> It'll be two two videos, um, and I'll try and do them for the next Saturday anyway. So, alrighty, we'll catch you on the next one. Ugh.